What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. You know, we're always excited to talk to you guys every Sunday um, about new tips, tricks, and things that can possibly or hopefully will enhance your relationship or bring that relationship back to where it used to be, mm -hmm. right? So that stellar honeymoon phase of where you guys always want to be, where everything is joyous, you get along with everything, and everything is just peachy and cream, <laughs> right? Yes, peaches and cream. Talking about peaches and cream. Yeah, talking about peaches and cream. Thanksgiving. So, Thanksgiving is here. <laughs> you know, it, it, Thanksgiving is going to be a little bit different this year, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been hit with this pandemic and stuff like this with COVID. It's already been eight months. I mean, I remember when we went first in these lockdowns, I think it was, what, March? No, yeah. We started getting into a March, right? the beginning of the year, yeah. So we're eight months into this thing, you know, we're in the state of Florida, so we're, you know, a little bit unrestricted here, thank <laughs> goodness. Uh, but we are still an epicenter, uh, you know, of this. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're, we're one of the states that is lucky. I've seen all these different states out there where they have lockdowns, where they, they got with these crazy restrictions mm -hmm. about how many people can come to dinner, you know, wearing a mask inside the house inside with, dinner house. Hour, yeah. with dinner, with um, dinner, just all these crazy different things. Mm -hmm. um, one state, you can only have a party for so many hours. So <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I guess mean, the uh, party police will be out. So some of these states are actually asking law enforcement to get involved, okay? So the actual cops uh, of the community. And some of these law enforcement, sheriffs and stuff like that are going against these orders, mm -hmm. which is kind of crazy, right? So we, we've, 2020 is definitely, you know, if you thought that you wouldn't see something, it's probably happening right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you just you wouldn't expect to see some let's of these things. 2021 isn't going to roll in like that. Well, we're at least going to get a part of it. But <laughs> let's get back to Thanksgiving. Anyways, yeah. So my, my big thing about first covering Thanksgiving is because it usually deals with family or loved ones. Mm -hmm. You know, your significant other, their families and stuff like that. And usually everybody gets together and they have, you know, this great meal. Um, and, and get together and, and really spend bonding time, family time, which is good in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, but this year, especially because most states are canceling Thanksgiving or not supposed to have it or the CDC is advising against Thanksgiving travel and all this, this stuff. Um, with that, people aren't even saying happy Thanksgiving when I go out. It's kind of crazy, right? It's like, you know, usually you say, you know, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, now it's just going straight to Christmas. Or yeah. happy holidays. Yeah, everybody just skipped it. You know, it, it, I don't know if it's because, you know, it's just because people are like, you know, we're not going to be able to, to participate. Or, you know, even my mom, she's scared to come over, right? She's like, I got to wait till I get the vaccine. I'm like, okay, uh, but it, it's okay. Um, you don't have to have like this big, lavish, right. you know, um, party to be thankful or to have a Thanksgiving. I mean, totally honest with you. I'm not, I mean, I don't know if John knows this, but I'm not cooking for Thanksgiving. I mean, I normally don't cook for Thanksgiving anyway. So this is not new, but we are probably going to be going anywhere where, you know, usually we'll go to his mom's or, you know, go to my mom's or whatever. And they're usually cooking and we bring the side dish, you know, like the little, uh, what's it called? The no pie? other stops. The pie? Yeah. Or the champagne? Yeah. Usually the champagne. <laughs> no desserts, no nothing. We don't bring anything. Stay at home, kind of relax. Yeah. Actually, you, probably going to hit the movie theaters. You still have a lot to be thankful for. So, I mean, this day is still important, I mean, to us anyway as well. So, the big thing is this. This is my point to even doing this show today was that we're skipping over Thanksgiving, right? And this is supposed to be a time where we are supposed to be thankful or a remembrance of the thankful of the things that we have or, you know, that we've, you know, we've been blessed with by, by God or whoever your higher power is. I mean, you know, I, I think especially right now in the pandemic and all this stuff that has went down, all the hardships with people losing their jobs, um, you know, just people getting sick, dying. I mean, it's just been a bad year all the way together. Been there, been there. But if you're still alive, okay, you should be thankful for just that alone because you know what? It could be worse. You could be dead. You ain't going to be here. There is no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing you should definitely be thankful for everybody because some people don't have family. Some people don't have significant others or kids. Mm -hmm. And usually holidays are depressing times for them. Right. But you guys shouldn't be depressed because you have your life and you have every day afterwards to change it, to make it better in one way, shape or form. 
and that could be you going out and finding a new significant other that you could hopefully share new memories with and new holidays with going forth. So don't get stuck in that rut and depression mm -hmm. of what's going on right now. It's 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 easy to get stuck mm -hmm. in, in that depression mode because of everything that's going on, not just the holidays. And think about it, people are just getting depressed in the holidays and they have to deal with this before. Mm -hmm. So at that point, please, and if you know somebody out there that's like that, you know, invite them to your house maybe, or you know, send them a dish or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's cool when when people think of you, right? At that point, and yeah. if you don't have anybody, it, feel good. it does. It makes you feel good inside, and and it will help them mentally, right? Um, being thankful for other things, right? So if you do have family, being thankful for your family and being around your family, even if you have to do the Zoom thing with them and you're scared to be with them, okay, uh, because of catching COVID or whatever it is, because you know it's, you don't know anymore. You don't know who's scared, who's not scared. And it's just crazy. So at that point, be thankful for those people. The third thing, right? Be thankful <laughs> of being able to eat, okay? Because some people are out there and they just, yeah. They, they, they can't eat, they don't have enough money to eat. I mean, that, yeah. that's another thing, that's another crazy thing out there. You wouldn't think about it like that. You I know? feel like you forget. You, you forget. Like, you know, you just go with the, the flow of the day, and I mean, you know, everybody has something to complain about. It doesn't matter whether you, if you have $5 in your bank account, or right. if you have five million in your bank account, I feel like you still have something to complain about. Right. Everybody's gonna complain, right? right? But I think it's easy to just skip over on the day to day of what you are thankful for. And it could be a million different things. I mean, just talking about your significant other, I mean, I'm thankful for John and in many, 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 many ways. Many ways, all the way from, you know, Peter or helping out or business-wise, you know, I'm thankful for the fact that we have really great communication skills, you know? It's just, even yesterday, you know, it's just anything can happen in the middle of the day and to be able to have a discussion or be able to voice our opinions to each other without ripping each other's faces off it, that's important and Absolutely. that's i mean that's um you know it's something to be super grateful for so maybe just sit back and think what do i have that i can be thankful for whether it's your it might be your job because a lot of people don't have a job right now or they were what's it called for a load for a load for a load yeah. um you know or it could just be your health this year especially me i got covid myself in june and it gave me sepsis and pneumonia right after so that was fun but i am every single day even if it is a terrible day because last week was not I, it was a bad week for me but i'm here and i am healthy and i'm alive and i am very grateful for that I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for my family, my business, but more grateful for anything else in my health because I didn't realize how... <laughs> Too for granted. It, it, it really is because you don't realize even though there's a hundred people that need me, there's all these people that need me to do something for them, you know, and I always put myself on the back burner. Well, come to find out in June, I realized, uh-oh, well, if I don't feel good, I just can't do it. You just can't do it at all. So it's like, you know, you got to give and take a little bit and take care of yourself and take care of your significant other. Make sure you guys are taking care of each other. Sometimes you get so busy, you, maybe you just need to stop and remind them like, hey, babe, go get your workout in. That's a big one for him. So, you know, it's just little things like that. Or, hey, babe, you need to eat something because it's been, you know, seven hours. They haven't eaten anything because we're just all day. I feel like a little hamster. Like a hamster on the wheel. <laughs> There's no getting off. <laughs> yeah. I just like it. I get a sip of water every five seconds. You know, I like every five hours. I'm like, up, up, let me get a sip of water. Okay, back to my hamster wheel. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. So, you know, you just, but you got to be thankful. I ha I mean, I, I got to be thankful I have a wheel. You know? I, I could be a hamster in the forest. That would be terrible yeah. to be a hamster in the forest. <laughs> but I, I honestly, guys, it's, it's important that, you know, you are thankful and coming back to Cupid's Corner, you know, it's it's important you're thankful and grateful for your significant other in any way, shape, or fashion. And then you express that to them somehow. It doesn't have to be you verbally telling them, because usually actions speak louder than words. So it's important to be able to show them that they are important to you or whatever you're grateful for. And it could be in anything. You could cook dinner. You can maybe spice it up in the bedroom. Whatever your significant other likes. Verbally and physically reciprocate and appreciate. Yeah. That's kind of what it is. Make them feel you know? good. 
make them feel good. I, you know, they'll probably reciprocate back to you. It, it goes back and forth, and that's a good mm-hmm. thing, right? It's like you know, you giving a gift and you receiving a gift at the same point. It, it, it's definitely a benefit for your relationship, and it's 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 big to be thankful and grateful for these things, and not just. On the one day, like on Thanksgiving, I see social media people say, I'm so thankful for. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I love people expressing that on there. But every day, you should think about what you're thankful for. Now, this will hold true to some of you people out there. And I'll hit you right where you want to be hit. If you've ever been down, okay, you could have been here and you dropped for some reason, shape, or form, Mm -hmm. right? Addiction bankruptcy, whatever it is. People go through hard times, depression, losing people, and if you've been and you hit rock bottom, you know what it is if you do get back up and you go right back to the top. And you'll always have those memories. You'll always be thankful for all those different things that got you back to where you wanted to be. Um, For you people that have not you know, went through something like that. Be grateful that you have. Be it. grateful you have, it, right? <laughs> be grateful you haven't. Be thankful you haven't. Think about it every day. Think about these things every day. It's really important, um, and it will make sure that you stay on point. You stay humble because that's the big thing out there too, as well. Mm-hmm. So I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Um, you know, with their family or without their family on Zoom, without Zoom by themselves or with a whole bunch of people. However you want to do it. Abide by CDC guidelines in your laws in your state. I don't want to get you guys in trouble. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys, if you guys are somebody's neighbor, you guys aren't tattletaling on people. Sorry about those little tattletailers out there. So don't be a tattletale. No. Nobody likes a rat. Okay. <laughs> uh, stitches get stitches. Remember these old sayings <laughs> because they always hold true. Aye, aye, aye. But anyway, no, seriously, guys, be grateful, be thankful for what you have. Of course, everybody wants to level up mm-hmm. and become more and get more, but. Make sure that you are thankful for what you have now because that can be taken from you and at any point. second. You can be dead at any moment. You have no idea. Nothing is guaranteed except for death and taxes. So, guys, <laughs> I appreciate you guys tuning in to another Cupid's Corner. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Looking forward to Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate there. We can't wait because the summer is coming up. So thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in every Sunday, 11 a.m. I'm Sharice. I'm John. (laughs) And we'll we'll see see you you next week. week.